Hello, my name is Sarah with Atlas Sound, and I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce you all to the new infrared wireless microphone from Atlas Sound, the Magpie. Like its namesake, the new Magpie wireless infrared microphone is incredibly small and lightweight, making it easy for any student or teacher to use. The microphone is located on the top of the Magpie and is designed for maximum signal reception in any configuration. The Magpie is an infrared wireless microphone that connects to an Atlas Learn AL2430 via infrared receiver that is installed in the classroom. The front panel of the Magpie houses the LED infrared transmitters which communicate with the infrared receivers. The benefit to infrared transmission versus other wireless transmitters is that infrared will not permeate walls and cause crosstalk with Atlas Learn systems installed in other rooms and they will not take up bandwidth on wireless systems. The Magpie uses a single rechargeable battery that can last up to 10 hours. Let's look at the different external buttons on the Magpie and see how they work within the system. On the side of the Magpie is a small black button that is the power button for this unit. The button must be depressed and held for three seconds to either turn the unit power on or off. The Atlas Learn IR receiver amplifier has an integrated contact closure that can be tied to a school's paging system. When both the red buttons are pressed simultaneously, this contact closure is triggered and a pre-configured message will be sent to the paging system alerting administrators to a panic situation in the classroom. Each Magpie has an individual volume control that is located on the back of the unit. Volume can be increased by pressing the up arrow until the desired volume is reached and can be decreased by pressing the down arrow until the desired volume is achieved. The Magpie also features a lockout function that allows one of the microphones to be used as solely a microphone with no working controls. To lock out the Magpie, locate the slide switch on the right side of the battery compartment and using a small object like a screwdriver or paper clip, move the slide to the position closest to the bottom of the Magpie. The lockout feature is ideal for classrooms where the instructor is using one microphone with full control and the student will use the other microphone where full control is not necessary. Each Atlas Learn system can support up to two Magpie wireless microphones, microphone A and microphone B. Each unit is shipped in microphone A mode, so if you're going to be using two Magpies in the same system, you have to be sure to switch the second microphone to the B setting. Inside the battery compartment, you will notice a small slider switch on either side of the battery at the end closest to the microphone. The switch on the left will switch between the A and B designation. To set the Magpie to B, Take a small object like a small screwdriver or paper clip and slide the switch toward the bottom of the unit. The Magpie can be used in three separate microphone configurations. First, it can be worn using the included lanyard. The Magpie is designed to slide snugly into the lanyard holder to prevent it from falling off. Additionally, the lanyard has a magnetic clip that is easy to disengage should it be pulled off. The Magpie also features a 3.5 mm mini jack connection where a headset microphone can be plugged in and used based on the instructor's preference. The Magpie is also small and light enough to be used in a handheld configuration. Thank you for your time in learning about the new Magpie wireless infrared microphone from Atlas Learn. If you have any questions, call us at 800-876-3333 or email us at atlascustsur at atlassound.com.